through a partnership between Woodford Humane Society and Quantrill Subaru for their Subaru Loves Pets. The Forever Friends program was created so you too can find your forever friend. And joining us, tell us all about the program. We have Diana Keating and Beth Olson, of course, representing Subaru and representing Woodford Humane Society. Ladies, good to see you all. Always good, good to be here. here. And good to see Buttons yes. over there. We're gonna talk, <laughs> we're gonna talk with Buttons here in just a few minutes. But right now, Diana, we talk about the, the Forever Friends program and uh, it, it's been pretty special so far, hasn't mm -hmm. it, as we've been doing this. Does it, I mean, are you pretty happy to see all these animals going somewhere? I love seeing animals being put into forever homes. I think it's very special that, you know, somebody can take an animal and give it a, a new life, essentially, um, in their home. So um, back in December, we did an adoption drive with them as well, and we covered 100% of the adoption fees. They had 87 adoptions through it, and it's just amazing to see how, pro how these programs can help these animals out. And, and that's what it's all about in Subaru. I said it in the title when I came in. Uh, Subaru loves pets, so mm -hmm. a very, very pet-friendly facility over there. And through this program, we want to help out just a little bit more because everybody deserves a little extra bling or something nice, don't they? Yes. So every animal that goes through this program, um, if they get adopted, they get an amazing fluffy blanket that goes home with them. It's just a little reminder about the program um, that we've partnered with Woodford, um, and it's just warm and cozy. Warm and cozy. And here we have something different. This is new to the show. I know yes. you've, you've probably brought them around before, but new to the show, we have Buttons the Bunny. Yeah, so we do get um, animals that aren't cats and dogs every now and then. Um, most commonly, guinea pigs and bunnies. So we may have those here from time to time. Um, Buttons has been with us for a little while. She is about four years old, which is middle-aged for a domesticated bunny. Um, she's pretty sweet. She's used to being handled. She's pretty well socialized. Um, one thing that we always like to remind people, especially people who have not had a bunny before, um, because the tendency is to see a smaller creature and just think, oh, that's going to be easy. I can just set up a pen and then they'll, you know, do their own thing. Um, is that like cats and dogs, they also need exercise and playtime and stimulation and affection. Um, so Buttons is looking for someone who's going to do the research and give her everything she needs. And Buttons seems so chill there, just been hanging out there in, in your arms, you know? She is. She's perfectly content being held. Um, like all bunnies, she doesn't love the process of being picked up, but honestly, that is universal. I've never met a rabbit that loved being picked up. Mm -hmm. um, but once they're in your arms, they can really settle in and be pretty cozy. She doesn't mind that at all. Um, she loves her little like fresh produce snacks. Um, you know we're working with her on litter box training so um, she's learning all the bunny basics. She just needs someone who's gonna you know give her that second chance for the, the second half of her life. That's what she deserves. She sure does. That's Buttons the Bunny. You can find Buttons on our Forever Friends tab on WKYT.com and you can find even more animals that they have over at Woodford Humane Society through their website. You just saw it there on the screen. Ladies, as always, appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you.